Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I want to bring a video to all of you guys showing you and telling you how I learned how to script. So every now and then I would get this comment on a YouTube video asking me how I learned how to script. And I tell them, I think, from Peace Factory or Roblox, Roblox scripting videos on YouTube. I don't know exactly what I say, but I'm going to tell you now. And there's actually a few ways that I learned how to script. Okay, what is going on? There's a little glitchy box right there. All right, so first off uh, is by YouTube. So whenever I first wanted to get into Roblox development on scripting, the scripting side, <clears throat> uh, I would always look up YouTube videos, you know, how to script on Roblox. And, you know, there's a bunch of videos on how to script on Roblox. But later on, I come across uh, a YouTuber named Peace Factory. He's pretty well known on Roblox also. He hasn't made a video in like a year. And he made some scripting. Oh, wow. It's been like two years. Yeah, two years. Um, anyways, so he actually made some pretty good tutorials. And this is how I first started off. So the, his videos is what mainly gave me the basic idea and some basic knowledge on scripting. Um, and I learned mouse input from him. I learned all kinds of things from him and I would recommend watching his videos also now this link will be in the description if you would wanna go to it so for all you basic scripters or people that are wanna wanting to try to learn how to script first off I would probably recommend watching his videos it helped me a lot and it's a whole series he also he has these basic the beginner scripting tutorials and then if you would go on his channel or if you just type in peas factory you can find the advanced part advanced scripting tutorials so advanced scripting tutorials tables tables are very useful all these are very useful you're you're going to need to know all of these um let's see what he's using for a data store right quick see if this is deprecated if it's deprecated, I don't want you guys to learn it. Uh, nope, it's not deprecated. Okay. Um, data data persistence. Uh, data persistence. This tutorial number ten in the advanced. Oh wow, I even like this. Sadly, I'm gonna no. I'll just keep a like. Why not? Don't don't learn data persistence. This is deprecated. Oh look, he even says this tutorial is outdated. And then I'm pretty sure this is gonna link me to the data store one. So don't learn data persistence. Don't learn that. Okay. So, yep. So I would recommend watching the beginners and advanced part. And he also has a GUI tutorial basics. I don't recall ever watching the GUI parts. But that's out the way. So I'm going to have the link to that in the description. Next, we have intro to scripting. It's a wiki. This will use a lot of reading, and I hate reading. Oh, I, I just hate reading. But I ended up reading some of this uh, this stuff, and it actually ended up helping me out. So I, I read this at the same time as I was watching his videos. Not like, you know, I watch his video and then I go back to this. I mean, like... Maybe one day I'll watch that video. The next day I'll come and read this. So, I mean, I, I just switch back and forth, really. So, I would recommend... I'm going to have the link to this wiki also. This wiki, as you can see, um, you start from the very top. You just go down. Uh, then you go to creating parts via code. teaches you how to create parts. Creating a script. And then you just keep clicking on this link at the bottom. But by the time you're watching this, maybe if you're watching this in 2018, uh, I mean, this site could have changed or whatever. So hopefully this would maybe help you out. It, it, it ended up helping me out. Um, let's see. I think there's some other. Let's see, scripting. Let's see what this is. Nope. 
anyways yep so you have the intro to scripting so you could also read this but I would really recommend going watch Peas Factory on YouTube next next we actually have a Roblox has made some well I say Roblox I mean yeah it's the YouTube channel is Roblox but they actually made scripting tutorials which is pretty interesting and I did end up watching their tutorials but by the time I found out about their tutorials I knew about pretty much everything that they made so I would like to recommend going watch their tutorials also it's very help helpful I did end up reading or going through their code and like how they explain everything is pretty good pretty good so I'm going to have the third link in the description is going to be intro to scripting and then as you can see you can next you can click on variables then changing properties change of properties part 2 and you just keep going on and on brick color that's very helpful next we have scripting helpers scripting helpers is a website where Roblox users communicate with other Roblox users and pretty much you can help with scripts um, you can post you can ask a question and as you can see this is a question someone asked and then as you can see I'm, my Roblox accounts hooked up to scripting helpers and you could you know comment on questions or even answers because as you can see this is an answer to it's very laggy yeah, I don't know what okay that like or you could answer the question so this is the question so I would recommend get uh, signing up to scripting helpers this is gonna be the fourth link in the description scripting helpers has helped me a whole lot when I say whole lot if I never went on script if I never heard of scripting helpers I would not be where I'm at right now and I'm not saying that I'm like a really advanced coder but I know a good bit and I am a slow learner at scripting but scripting helpers like I asked so many questions and I got help with just about all of them questions I have let's see how many pages of questions I have 12 as you can see I got down votes for some of them like this is whenever I was like a real <laughs> this is whenever I was a noob and uh yeah, but on scripting helpers, as you can see, uh, I ask, what's a script when you are allowed to take off your hats? That kind of, yeah. So as you can see, I was requesting for a script. As you can see, this uh, comment, uh, this is not a request site. Make your own script, and we will help you with a script you have created. So scripting helpers is not a request site, so you can't ask for scripts at least try to script something and then you ask the question that you know post click this and then put in your code now how you put in your code so say you're in your script your your script on Roblox Studio copy all of your code paste it here so say this is my code that I had just pasted in use a Lua uh, a, I said I was about to say Lua block a code block press that make sure well make sure you highlight it all and then press on that and then it's gonna turn out to look like actual Roblox Lua. It's gonna look like code. Um, and then you have bold, italic. And then make sure you have a title, of course. Um, make sure it's a question. You know, has a question. Needs to have a question mark at the end. But I think I went over everything. So I would recommend getting scripting helpers. The two. Okay, let me restart. The main two things I would recommend doing is first off watching peas factories tutorial so that's gonna be that first link in the description second thing I wanna recommend uh, big time is scripting helpers this is gonna help you a whole lot it helped me out a whole lot I'm telling you guys anyways that's basically it hopefully I told you guys everything I think I did and yeah so if you guys enjoy please drop a like and subscribe. Later.